Hey there fellow developers and tech enthusiasts welcome back to our youtube channel no developer where we are about to embark on an exciting journey of building an incredible android app feature together today we will dive deep into implementing the room database a powerful tool for offline data management and combine it with firestore to enable real time chat functionality for our app if you are new here consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out any of our tech pack tutorials and if you are a returning viewer thank you for your continued support let's get ready to level up our app data handling game but before we begin if you want to stay up to date, with the latest tech tips coding hacks and behind the scenes sneak peeks be sure to follow me on instagram and threads link to my social media profiles are in the description below join our vibrant community and let's connect beyond youtube so to execute the room database implementation we need an entity class however we already have the user data class so i'm not going to create a new one instead i just annotate this user data class with add entity and in this annotation we need to provide the table name so in my case i'm going to set the table name as user as per your database every entity should have one primary key which will be the differentiator for each object of the entity which in our case is user so in this user object i am going to have a primary key as user id which will be the differentiator in every other user object now let's create a package named local database inside the data package inside that local database package i will create a user database class then we will use a do dao data access object interface to handle the data from the offline database we will first save and data save the data to the database and then retrieve it using queries first let's annotate the user database with add database and provide the required parameters we only have one entity till now so which we, which is the user basically user class we can provide many other options in the parameter of this annotation but for now i'm just going to pass the version and entity and everything else will uh, will use the default values provided by the system or the basically the library so now version equals to 1 and we don't need dot java here we can just use the colon colon class to reference the class okay now the class user database you should be an abstract class so i'll convert it to an abstract class and integrate the room database class which is android x dot room dot data room database and inside this abstract user database class we will create the abstract function user dao which implements the user dao interface for fetching the data now let's create the user dao interface inside this local database package in this interface we will create some functions that will help us to query the data from the offline database which is our room database now let's import this interface in user data is class simple now first we need to annotate this interface class user dao with add dao then we will create a function called get all users which will return a flow of a list of users this function basically list of user this function will use the query select asterisk from users which means that we select all the columns from the users table okay next we need a function to insert a user into the database let's create a function called insert user which will take a user object as a parameter and annotate it with add insert on conflict equals to on conflict strategy dot replace this means that if there is a conflict in the future with an existing user then it will replace the old one okay now finally we need a function to get a user by their id let's create a u function called get user by id which will take the user id as a parameter and annotate it with qu add query select asterisk from users where user id equals to colon user id this query will select all the users from the table users where the user id going to equals to the provided user id by the user basically or uh, okay now we gonna instantiate the and return the user database class inside the whatsapp app model singleton class using add singleton and add provided annotation and same with the user dao and how we gonna do this simply by creating one function with name provide user database class sorry you provide user database name the function which accept one argument context which should be the application context type and return the user database object and inside this function we will instantiate the room database by simply calling the room dot database builder function and pass the context text and user database class reference and then i'm going to create an object class in which i'm going i'm create i'm creating a constant value for room database name and pass this name as an argument to that function room data dot room dot database builder now let's create the second function for returning the user dao and the name of this function will going to be the provide user dao in which we will pass the user database object in the argument and then simply return the user database dot user dao and don't forget to annotate both these functions with add singleton and 
and add provides now let's go back to the context repository implement user repository implementation and inside this class we already have the get all users function in which we are fetching all the users with firestore so let's first inject user dao object in the constructor here and then simply do the query user dao dot get all users dot first or null now why we use this first or null because it provides us either null or the first value it observed after that we will check if the fetch data is either null or empty if yes then we will first fetch the data from the firestore and then insert that data into our offline database by simply calling the function user dao dot insert user and then provide the user object which will get from you get user from the document function and after that fetch all the users by calling user dao dot get all users function which will return us the flow of list of user and then we simply call the try send and provide the resource dot success function and inside pass inside that pass the users list we fetched now if user list at first we fetch returns context list directly from offline database and then in that case we're gonna execute the else block in which i'm gonna call try set function and pass the users list which we get from the offline database now let's move on to our next task which is the chat fragment to implement this fragment we will first create a variable binding of type fragment chat binding and initialize it to null next we will bind the fragment to the chat layout by inflating it with the layout inflator parent and attach it to the contain uh, root with false value and return the binding dot root now let's override the on create function before we proceed let's modify the xml layout for the chat fragment sorry not on create function it's on view created function and uh, first we will change the relative layout to a linear layout and set its orientation to vertical in this layout we will remove the text view and add a progress bar with match parent width and wrap content height the background color should be wide and we will set the id to chat progress bar additionally we can create you can create a separate layout file for the progress bar and include it in using the include tag wherever you need it it's optional depending on your preference now let's add a recycler view layout with match parent width and height and uh, we will set its id to uh, chat recycler view after creating the recycler view and progress bar we will set the progress bars visibility to gone next we will create another layout chat card for individual chat items in the recycler view similar to the contact card in our previous fragment we will copy the existing layout to chat card dot xml and make the necessary changes inside the chat card layout replace the linear layout with the relative layout and remove the user image layout update the ids of accordingly like changing user image to chat image username to chat name and so on add a new text view for the chat's last message timestamp and set its id to chat last message timestamp set its text to a date example 25th june 2023 after setting up the chat card layout update the recycler views layout manager and in the code by using binding dot chat recycler view dot layout manager equals to linear layout manager by providing the context in the parameter next let's first refract refactor the context repository to user repository why because i think whether we call the function get all context or get all chats or get all messages these all are the part of user information so why not keep all of them in a single repository next let's update the user repository to handle chat related function operations we will add a new method get all chats with one parameter user id which returns a flow of resource of list of model chat to keep things organized we will create a new data class model chat to represent the chat object it will contain properties like chat id chat name chat email chat participants chat last message and chat last message timestamp now we will use the firestore to fetch all chats where the user is a part participant by doing a simple query firestore dot collection chats dot get dot where array contains chat participant user id chat participants here is the field path and user id is the parameter value after the query we will add a snapshot listener and return the error if we get any exception and if we don't get any exception we simply iterate through the documents and get chat from the document after that the chat in the chat list add that chat in the chat list which is a mutable list of model chat and then after completing the loop return that list with the updated user repository we can now use it in the chat use case we will create a new method get all chats in the use case we will which will call the corresponding method in the repository we will implement the necessary methods and properties for the adapter first inside the chat adapter we will create a view holder class that extends the recycler view dot view holder and then we will create a function bind view with the argument model chat and we will use this function to bind the views in the view holder now how are we gonna bind views we're gonna do it exactly as we did in the context fragment simply first instantiate instantiate the views we have in the chat card layout and then simply set values to those views views on which are setting the values are 
our chat name chat image chat last message chat last message timestamp and chat participants for text views we use the dot text method and for the image we will set we first set the outline provided to make the image in circular shape and then we will load the image into image view by using glide after that we create the chat diff util class by implementing diff util dot item callback and provide model chat as an object in the two implemented members are item the same and are contains the same i am checking and return whether old item equals to new item and old item dot chat id equals to new item dot chat id now provide these classes in the required arguments of list adapter now let's implement the two functions of the list adapter class which are on by view on bind view holder and on create view holder in on create view holder simply return chat view holder by passing the view in that class argument and the view we get by layout inflator dot from parent dot con context dot inflate method and in this inflate method i'm going to provide the layout file chat card which we just created and parent as container falls for attached to root now in the bind on bind view holder function simply get the model chat by using get item function by and providing the position we will get from the parameter in the on bind view holder function and then pass this model into the bind view function of chat view holder class now as we already have our adapter we're gonna initialize it in the chat fragment and after initializing the chat adapter we will set it as a adapter for the recycler view next now we will create chat view model class by just simply chat view model and annotate it with hilt view model and then inject in the constructor the chat use case and authentication use case now we will need to uh, first extend it to view model and uh, view model class basically and then simply i'm gonna create two variables first is the mutable variable mutable state flow variable to set the value to the particular this value this uh, variable actually okay so this is the chat list underscore chat list of type mutable state flow of list of model chat and pro provide the initial value as empty list next we will create new uh, second variable for the state flow variable as a which is chat list to observe the changed values in the main activity or in the fragment with, with uh, whatever then we will create an late in it where which are i chat view of type i chat view it should be the it it is it is actually going to be the interface in our case so this interface is gonna help us to Im implement the members of the i view handling uh, interface which we created for the home page layout the three methods which we have show hide show progress bar hide progress bar and show error so for that purpose i am i, I created this interface now let's import the chat i chat view interface here the correct one and uh, i chat uh, uh, this one that's view yeah that's it now let's create a simple uh, okay now let's create a fetch uh, what all chats method in this first in this chat in this fetch all chat matters in the view model scope dot launch i'm going to call the chat use case dot get all chat you chats function by providing authentication use case dot get user id and observe the collect latest value in this now uh, inside basically just uh, i just copied the whole context view model thing here and uh, let's uh, uh, there are some error actually yeah okay let's insert uh, the it value to the when so that we can basically use it as a switch case when the value is this then we will then do the this we will do this so now let's uh, uh, provide this listener inside the fetch all chats method and just simply initialize the i chat view inter variable or interface in this here so in this uh, class actually now simply call the all the very all the methods show progress bar hide progress bar show error and basically the uh, also change the value of the underscore chat list mutable state flow variable now simply implement the i view i chat view interface and then simply override the methods which uh, we already used in the context home chat, home context fragment so then simply copy and paste and just show error in the in this the uh, contact progress bar change to ch uh, chat progress bar that's it it dot chat progress bar it dot chat progress bar and that's it otherwise everything is normal uh, everything is just same so now let's create chat view model of type chat view model object by using the delegation view models this uh, this is how we uh, instantiate in like we did in the previous videos now inside the coroutine dispatcher i'm gonna simply uh in the 
inside the quarantine dispatcher dot launch method i'm gonna simply call the chat view model dot fetch all chat basically observe the value of the chat list state flow variable and uh, whenever we get the value we just simply chat or submit the value to the chat adapter that's it that's our chat view model now let's run the app and see if this is working or not we forgot actually the provide uh, creating the providing the chat use case actually so this is how we basically provide the chat use case simply just create an another function that's it now if we run this again let's run the app again and see if we are getting any error or not okay we are getting some error actually the error is basically we created a listener but we didn't remove the listener so let's remove the listener in the await close method and uh, then simply run the app again and uh, see if this is if if this is working or not yeah okay so everything is working fine uh, but here i have some issue actually that whenever i clicked on the chat context fragment and the, then i try to return back by the using the back button i just uh, we just i just move to the home screen J basically the system just closes the whole screen because whole hype because we don't have any fragment in the back stack so but what why i do uh, do here is i just add to back stack the contact fragment so that it will move back to the previous fragment whichever the fragment is opened in the back stack okay now let's see actually let me show you the one thing actually the real time interface of the uh, chat fragment so here you can see my firebase screen what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna change some value here and show you that show you the reflection of this change to the app directly in the real time okay so you can see here i change the value here and it will it, it is reflecting in the main app directly okay in the real time basically that's it okay so this is it there you have it folks you will you have successfully learned how to implement the room database and combined with firestore you now have a robust offline data storage solution with real time chat application capabilities give yourself a pat on the back of for completing this fantastic journey with us if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers also remember to follow me on instagram and threads for more exciting tech content and updates if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to drop a comment below and we will be more than happy to help you out until next time happy coding and stay 